Do you often wake up between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m.? Here is what it means. Greetings, and a warm welcome to Awesome Facts. In today's episode, we will be delving into the topic of waking up between the hours of 2 and 4 in the morning and what it signifies. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. A staggering 35% of individuals experience sleep disturbances on a frequent basis. Every week, millions of people awaken at least three times and find themselves questioning why they are awake. For some, the answer is straightforward, a neighbor's noisy dog or a snoring partner. Environmental disruptions can account for a significant portion of irregular sleep patterns, and solutions such as using earplugs or adjusting the bedroom temperature can prevent external factors from interrupting your sleep schedule. Whether your sleeping space is too hot, noisy, or uncomfortable, simple measures can make a significant difference in achieving a restful night's sleep. However, what about the significant portion of individuals who spontaneously wake up between 2 and 4 in the morning? What actions can be taken to enhance their sleep cycle and attain a restful night's sleep? Before delving into troubleshooting sleep cycles, it's necessary to comprehend how a healthy sleep cycle operates. Although most people have a basic understanding of sleep-related terminologies like deep sleep, REM cycles, and circadian rhythms, vague suggestions such as sleep for 8 hours every night or wake up at the same time daily are suitable for regular and consistent sleepers. However, those with irregular sleep patterns may need to implement more significant alterations, which demand a detailed understanding of why their body struggles to remain asleep throughout the night. Primarily, your sleep and wake patterns are governed by an internal 24-hour clock referred to as a circadian rhythm. Although many individuals believe that circadian rhythms function as an alarm clock, prompting one to sleep and wake up in the morning, this notion is only partially accurate. In reality, the biological role of circadian rhythms is more intricate and extensive than commonly believed. Your circadian rhythm, also referred to as a biological clock, instructs your body when to remain alert and when to fall asleep. It regulates your sleep-wake cycle by releasing various types of hormones, which is why you feel energetic during the morning and fatigued in the evening. However, how does your circadian rhythm determine when to awaken you and when to calm you down? Your sleep-wake cycle is influenced by several critical factors, some of which you can regulate, while others are beyond your control. For instance, your circadian rhythm naturally aligns with the Earth's day and night cycle. When the sun is up, your body recognizes that it's time to wake up and become active. Conversely, when the sun sets, your body instinctively unwinds and prepares for sleep. Your circadian rhythm is influenced not just by the time of day, but also by other factors such as your genetics, location, and of course, your daily routine. Although you cannot control the timing of sunrise or your genetic makeup, you have authority over the timing and consistency of your sleep schedule. If your nightly routine frequently prevents you from sleeping, there's a high likelihood that you'll wake up in the middle of the night. Assuming that you typically doze off between 10 o'clock and 11 p.m., your circadian rhythm would discharge hormones like melatonin that signal your body to slumber around that time. As the night progresses, your body craves rest, but you might opt to stay up late. You may indulge in a TV series until the early hours of the morning or become engrossed in your interests, losing track of time. Consequently, before you realize it, it's already 1 a.m., and you're now completely alert. Ignoring your body's natural rhythm can have consequences. By staying awake past the time when your circadian rhythm is releasing helpful hormones like melatonin, you end up depleting the hormones that would have helped you sleep. As a result, your body may struggle to decide whether to sleep or stay awake, making it difficult to maintain a healthy sleep cycle. However, this doesn't fully explain why you consistently wake up between 2 and 4 in the morning. To address this problem, we need to explore the structure of your sleep cycle in more detail. The average person experiences 4 to 6 complete sleep cycles over the course of 8 hours, 
with each cycle lasting approximately 90 minutes. Each sleep cycle consists of four stages, all of which contribute to the duration and quality of your sleep. The first stage is a very light sleep in which your body begins to settle down and unwind. As you gradually drift into a peaceful slumber, your brain activity slows down. After light sleep, the body enters stage 2, which is also referred to as light sleep. During this stage, the senses shut down, the muscles relax, and the brain prepares for the next stage of the sleep cycle, which is called deep or slow wave sleep. During deep sleep, brain waves slow down to their lowest frequencies, and the heartbeat slows to a gentle rhythm. Out of the four stages, deep sleep is the most immersive and difficult to disturb. If you are suddenly awakened during deep sleep, you may feel confused and disoriented, and it may take several minutes for your brain to adjust to the environment around you. During the last stage of your sleep cycle, which lasts about 90 minutes, you enter REM sleep. REM stands for Rapid Eye Movement, which refers to the back and forth movement of your eyes during this phase of high brain activity. Although REM sleep is considered a light or alert state, it's also the stage in which you're most likely to dream. What's interesting is that REM sleep duration increases over the course of the night, with the initial period lasting around 10 minutes and the final period lasting up to an hour. How does all of this information relate to your sleep cycle? Imagine you get into bed at 11 p.m. and sleep soundly until 2.30 a.m., when suddenly your eyes fly open. What you may not realize is that your body is waking up between sleep cycles. After experiencing the first and second periods of deep sleep, your body enters wakeful sleep stages, such as REM or light sleep, which makes you vulnerable to common sleep disruptions. Most nighttime awakenings happen between your third and fourth sleep cycles, which take place three to five hours after you fall asleep. During this period, your brain is active, making you more likely to notice environmental disruptions such as loud noises, bright lights, or uncomfortable temperatures. But stress is another reason why you may jolt awake in the middle of the night. Stress triggers your sympathetic nervous system, increasing your heart rate and blood pressure with cortisol. Cortisol is responsible for waking up your body and brain, just like melatonin puts you to sleep. However, cortisol is an essential part of your mornings, not something you need in the middle of the night. To understand how all this information pertains to your sleep cycle, imagine that you go to bed at 11 p.m. and sleep soundly until 2.30 a.m., when you suddenly wake up. What you may not realize is that you are waking up between sleep cycles. After experiencing the first and second periods of deep sleep, your body enters wakeful sleep stages, such as REM sleep or light sleep, making you more susceptible to common sleep disturbances. Most nighttime awakenings occur between the third and fourth sleep cycles, which occur three to five hours after you fall asleep. During this time, your brain is active, making it more likely for you to notice environmental disruptions such as loud noises, bright lights, or uncomfortable temperatures. Stress is another reason why you may wake up in the middle of the night. Stress activates your sympathetic nervous system, increasing your heart rate and moderating your blood pressure using a hormone called cortisol. While cortisol is responsible for waking up your body and brain, too much stress can cause your body to overproduce cortisol, leading to regular disruptions to your sleep cycle. Night after night, stress-induced cortisol may be confusing your biological clock and interrupting your normal sleep cycle. In other words, if you are consistently waking up during periods of light sleep, you need healthier ways to manage your stress. Irregular sleepers may find that the quality of their sleep depends more on their environment and lifestyle than anything else. While you are asleep, there is little you can do to control how well you sleep or for how long, but you can make meaningful changes to your lifestyle. For example, looking at your computer screen before bed can delay the production of melatonin, which tells your brain when to fall asleep. Unfortunately, many people watch TV or scroll through social media before bed, not realizing that this lifestyle choice negatively impacts their sleep quality and duration. 
Similarly, taking long naps can also have a negative impact on your sleep cycle. People who nap for 90 minutes or more during the day may struggle to fall asleep at night, as taking a long nap confuses your biological clock and delays the production of valuable hormones, ruining the consistency of your sleep cycle. Small changes in your daily routine can have a significant impact on the quality of your sleep. For instance, minimizing exposure to screens before bed can help regulate the production of melatonin, which signals your brain when it's time to fall asleep. Similarly, practicing stress-reducing activities like yoga or meditation can reduce daily stress levels and lessen the likelihood of waking up in the middle of the night. If you find yourself consistently waking up between 2 and 4 in the morning, your body is sending a message that your sleep cycle is not functioning optimally. To address this, you may need to adjust your environment to make it more conducive to rest, modify your sleep schedule, improve your nighttime routine, or learn stress management techniques. In most cases, it's a combination of these factors that contributes to sleep disruptions and daytime drowsiness. Don't delay making changes to improve your sleep quality. With effort and time, you can enjoy the benefits of restful sleep every night. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.